The following is a fan-based discussion. All properties discussed are property of Toei Inc., Bandai, Hasbro, and Subarai Productions. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Toku Talk, the miniseries. Yes. <laughs> you know what I want to call this? What? Time, 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 and again. Oh, that's really good, actually. <laughs> so, uh, this is oh, our to- this is a series within our show Toku Talk called Time, 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 and Again, where we are comparing uh, multiple seasons of Sentai or Kamen Rider that have a shared theme. Yeah. Whether it be dinosaurs, martial arts, myth, you know, cars, mystic, cars, the mystic arts, something like that. Ninjas. Ninja. It just. Um, I'm just trying to give a couple examples. <laughs> Those are the four. <laughs> I was giving a bunch of other examples to kind of um, to see what they changed, how they did it differently, and maybe who did it better. So we're gonna start with the biggest one, the one that's been done the most time, time, and time again. Dinosaurs. Yes. I'm wearing Borderlands. I'm a shirt. But I... <laughs> You're a shirt. I'm a shirt. Marcus, 2019, I'm a shirt. <laughs> That's my political slogan. Um, We really need to make merchandise. <laughs> North, South, East, and Grenade. I am a shirt. I don't know how we can write this down, but... <laughs> you already pregnant. <laughs> you whore. You whore. But yeah, we're starting that, You went for the that fruit is so low hanging, it's a juice box. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of my favorites. <laughs> so to go with dinos. Birth certificate for a death? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, yeah. <laughs> sea Ranger. Oh boy. So, okay, so dinosaurs were done by. We did. We have Zero Ranger, Abba Ranger, Kyo Ryuger, and Ryu Soldier. Soldier. Uh huh. We were tricked with that last one. Um, <laughs> no shit. We thought it was dragons and they lied to us. Yeah, Zero Ranger. But Zero Ranger, the first one. Where it was a lot more prehistoric magic. animal. Yeah, it was a lot more prehistoric. A lot more kid friendly. Very. Than, than, than its previous season. And you can tell this oh, was. Yeah. We're, this is very much so a building block because this was also the first one they were, that they sort of went out of their comfort zone. This is the second one to have animals as the actual mechs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But this time, it's a little bit different. This is the first time that we got the six ranger. This um, is the first time that we've gotten five individual mechs that combine at, that are shaped like animals that combine into one much more humanoid looking mech. Mm-hmm. So, which kind of set the foundation for that tradition. First, it's the first Power Ranger. I mean, so many things happened. It was in, the first Power Ranger yes. in Zero Ranger. Unfortunately, the, the show st- sucks. The story is where the stone lacks. The show it's lacks. the story, it's the characters, it's the writing, it's the action, it's the it's humor, the, it's, it's the, everything. It's the weird knowledge of anachronisms. Then you're in the spaceship. How do you know what a spaceship is? Don't ask questions. <laughs> to be fair, I always knew about that Brady Bunch reading. <laughs> he makes an extremely valid point. I've always wondered that. The difference is. He could have pulled some apocalypse bullshit on the way there and learned. They, we, there was in this particular instance, there was no time between. It was been, welcome to the present. Stop that thing. They're in the spaceship. How do you know that? You well, just got here. We missed the scene of Ivan who's going to a circuit city and putting his hand on the TV <laughs> and going. Love. To be fair, this actually happens a lot. I was just watching the episode of Flashman. Also, we don't know exactly how lucid his knowledge was. To the outside world while he was in that egg. Well, back to the Sentai part. Of it. I was back just to the watching actual point of this. an episode of Flash Man. They're from space. Why are they driving a car? One, how do they know how to drive? Two, where did they get that? <laughs> I, I think it's just a thing to in quote, Sentai. They just to know. quote Missy, anachronisms. Doctor Who wailing on electric guitar in medieval England on a tank. <laughs> Which is infinitely more interesting than what this show gave us. Yeah, like, yeah, because he made jokes out of it. You said you wanted an axe fight. Like Jacob said, the story and the, especially the characters, the characters just aren't that interesting. Nope. Except Green. Yeah. And he died. I didn't <laughs> even like him that much. He was probably still the most interesting out of the five. Six. In comparison, yeah. I disagree. Watch that show. <laughs> oh God, what's his selfless plug? I, th- I think the most interesting is Bandora. That's fair. Well, out of the Rangers, he's the most interesting. But out of everybody, because of the fact that Machiko Shoga is, Shoga is an amazing actress. She's wonderful. Which Bandora is 
the best part. She's of the best part of the show. But at but the same time, well, let's focus on the matter at hand. We are talking about the theme of the show and how it is executed. You can definitely tell this is the first. Yeah, the dinosaurs, and this is also probably just a consequence of when this show was made. Mm-hmm. The technology behind the way that the dinosaurs are moving are very not great. <laughs> And this is a thing that I noticed coming off a live. Jurassic Man. Park did come out while the show was airing. Ha! <laughs> uh, live Man and Yellows, like they're mechs, they're both big cats, so they move very similarly. Mm-hmm. But you end up watching something like Tyranno and his mech, and it's the way it's more upright, and it's so awkward. Yeah, because well, that's how they used to think that the T Rex would walk was it would be like. More upright like this, more more like a, more like that, how yeah, Godzilla that moves, is, yeah, that as is, opposed to out with its tail out to balance it, which is how that, scientists now believe it actually walked. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing that we have to keep in mind with this is that when the way that these are designed and their characteristics and how they act changes for a time because paleontologists change how they think dinosaurs acted and looked. Because mm. by the time we get to Kyoryuger, now we're saying dinosaurs had feathers. Yeah, and that's a good point. So, But you can definitely tell where a lot of the focus of this show came in. It came in so much more with the villains and the fact that this show was the first of really just the big animal ones. Like mm-hmm. Live Man came before, but then it was just machines. It did, but so getting, getting back to dinosaurs and how that is woven into the overall fabric of this show... It's there, but it never really feels that important. No. Di- especially because Daijujin is like some god. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's It never feels like they went all the way with this Cause, thing. Because we're dealing with the, the Zoo Rangers themselves. They're from like a prehistoric race of people. That knew about spaceships. That knew about spaceships and coexisted with dinosaurs. You know that's an, another season, a di- another dinosaur season that's doing something very similar, where it's less really driving the home of we get our powers from dinosaurs, mm-hmm. and more of that it's more of their companions. Yeah, Ryu Soldier. We'll talk about that when we get to it. You know, well, the, the whole point of this is to compare. This. We're not doing mini reviews for each season. Well, I know. But as more as I, that's something I really want to explain when we actually start talk about Ryu Soldier just as a whole, because we are sort of going by one by one here. What is his? Saber. What is his? What are what are yellow and black? A mammoth and a saber toothed tiger. Mammals. <laughs> yeah, Pre- that, prehistoric animals. Uh, they learn sort of after this, and I'm just like, those didn't exist at the same time. But thanks. To be fair, most they of those did, dinosaurs they, didn't exist at the same time either. Well, Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus, yes, pterodactyl. I don't remember. I don't think, but I also. But here's another thing I think we have to keep in mind. You mentioned earlier Daijujin, he's treated as, like, a god. That That's him. pretty much what... The, you did, sorry. Um, their max, it's more or less the same way. I would compare this more to Primal Rage than I would actual dinosaurs. And for anyone who remembers that game, first off, thank you, keep it alive. Uh, that's a fun game. That one's a new reboot. They're, they look like dinosaurs, but that's not exactly what they are. They're more. They're more of. A, they're treated as ancient gods rather than they are like beasts. it is later on in Gaia, more or less. Yeah. But yeah. then we end up getting into something like Abba. Are we moving on? Well, well before we, we move on, else to before say. we move on, that kind of also that kind of also gets an explanation. And and I hate to bring this up, the 2017 Power Rangers reboot movie, that when they got they they the the, the, the Zords were modeled after the powerful beings of the planet when they mm-hmm. arrived. Yep. So it kind of. Ties into something like that of we got we just got here. Who's in the top of the food chain? Well, apparently it wasn't the T Rex, because there's a whole there was a whole I watched an entire documentary about this. Was the Tyrannosaurus Rex a scavenger or a predator? Because it was not built to really hunt. Its arms were too small. The odds are if it fell over, it probably broke a leg and couldn't get back up and would just die. Yeah. So, but that was a dilemma that was that was still being solved i think it's time. still i think it's still going on yeah that's I, what think, I think people still are 100 sure they didn't get into Abba ranger where it's just like all right let's sort of take some of the things that we had in z ranger mm-hmm. and fix a lot of the issues Isn't this it? this seemed to me more be dinosaurs and yeah. that they are it really is dinosaurs because it, it's it's everything I made, the, I made this comparison in the review i'll say it again it's the super mario brothers movie the meteor hit the Earth and it split us into parallel dimensions. 
humans and mammals evolved on one side, dinosaurs evolved on the other one. Along and with some other human people. Along esque people. Yes. Uh, like, you know, like early early man and whatnot. And I think it works for this. It does. Works a lot better for this show, especially in comparison to Z Rangers. Like they saw, especially just with the amount of time they had between mm-hmm. the two, what, ten years? They saw the fact that dinosaurs sell well. <laughs> one, the fact that the story in Z Ranger was not that great, neither were the characters. Mm-hmm. No. So they really came into this one with, all right, we have, uh, you know, we've had X amount of Sentai over the years. Let's build on something more character and story driven. Mm-hmm. We did that with Black. But you can wife. you can definitely see the transfer right. of concepts mm-hmm. from Z Ranger to this. We have an evil ranger. We have oh again because yeah yeah, yeah. Aubrey yeah. Killer Aubrey Killer we have the evil ranger we have we have the the fish the, out of water the story Eugene with Oscar he's like what uh, like what those U rangers were the race that existed with the dinosaurs yeah and and with that we also get the kind of the fish out of water story because they're now in a, a world that is not familiar to them or their customs and things like that but this is this seems more like what Z Ranger would could have been. Yeah. In terms of execution. Also, the mechs in this one, they're sentient. Yes. Yes. This is... Honestly, help. I think it worked. It, yeah. I think... It, I think... I'm, I'm this is a it, case of sentient mechs working. This is easily Go my... Go is not. This is easily my favorite of the dinosaur sentai. Same. The story... Kiryu Drew is your favorite. The story was just a lot better. Everybody had... In it. terms it, of... It has a much better story In terms of... Oh, yes. Like, if I'm looking at this less subjectively... And taking, like, but you know what I'm saying? Like, if I take my personal bias out of it, I understand that why people would say this is a better show. I get that. I just thought Kyo Ryuja was more fun. <laughs> I thought this show was a lot of fun. And I, I just, did as well. And I just love the story. Also, I but think, I will say the I think this is the mo- I think this is the best use of dinosaurs as well. Yeah. Because they had so much personality and effect. I mean, just just looking at the logo where you get the big footprint and like the rocks and the the way the way some of the logo looks like it's got like a T Rex head. It's got fangs on it. The way that they did some of the things in Zero Ranger. So it was really just Dai Zhuzhen was the only one who could talk to them, but he always felt like he was talking just as just a higher being. Mm-hmm. He never really talked on their level. Mm-hmm. But then you end up getting to these mechs, which really either talking their level in like terms of red and yellow yeah. or was like a little brother in terms of blue. They felt like <laughs> beings that have evolved over time yeah. to obtain the capacity for speech and thought rather than and ancient gods that are to be feared. And it's the only Sentai of uh, using the dinosaur theme that really took that angle of let's see, like, let's make the dinosaurs sentient. It's the only one that does that, which gives it that edge of the dinosaurs can well, be characters too. Well, sure, did too. They just couldn't talk. That's like, but to the, I'm saying to that level. Okay. And also, this is the second time that we get a uh, Brachiosaurus mm-hmm. as a carrier. <laughs> that was something that they had in the first two. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, the first. Well, this is just. This is he means this one in okay. Sea Ranger. So, but then we move on to Kyoryuja, mm-hmm. which took a different aspect or a diff a definitely a very different aspect from the first two. Uh, for in terms of how to incorporate dinosaurs, because now the way I, like these are actual dinosaurs. Now these are not gods. These are not dinosaur-like creatures that evolve over millions of years but still mm-hmm. retain their shape. These are dinosaurs. So when you bring up the fact that they are sentient, I give you the it's to the same degree as like my dog is sentient. You can kind of see that he like like Gabutira is understanding what Red is saying, but. Mm-hmm. On an animalistic instinct level, yep. is what I'm arguing. So, this really took the idea of we are harnessing the power of dinosaurs mm-hmm. and samba and samba, <laughs> because but this was also trying to much be a much lighter tone. Mm-hmm. I think this was much more focused on their younger demographic mm-hmm. than what Abba, you know. It was much more in, in tone of Z Ranger. Than it was an Abba Ranger. I agree, and I think it's still extend, better than Zero. Extending to the theme, I think because Abba Ranger was much more about uh, in Zero Ranger, the dinosaurs are gods. Mm-hmm. In Abba Ranger, they were partners. They were partners. They were our friends. They were. It was about humans and dinosaurs working, working together, working together to fight against a common evil. 
Kyoryuger is more about dinosaurs are this uncontrollable force that the Kyoryugers have to that have to like work their hardest to harness the power of and use that to fight. But the thing is, so so it's so it's like trying to put a leash on a hurricane. Unlike those first, which two, I kind of I kind of enjoyed that aspect of it. Honestly. Unlike those first two, or really even well, because this shares uh, something with Rio Soldier that in terms of the mechs, we don't get that partnership level. Except with maybe Gabatira. But true, but it's not really the, it's not there to begin with. That's I don't think that's the point I don't, of what yeah, the I don't, show is. Yeah, I don't think there that, there isn't but, really a partnership except with Gabutira, but that's just because it's king. But that is something that they did take away. It yeah. is something they took away I, because they but, fundamentally changed how it was working. Yeah, and I I, I I agree with him completely because then it's it's the idea of harnessing the power of the dinosaurs mm-hmm. and I don't want to say taming them, but training them, essentially. If that makes sense, I wouldn't say taming either. Training. No, I didn't say I wouldn't. Ta- I, I I said training instead of taming. I don't know that I'd even say training, but to the point where it's. But I'll let you. Sorry. Yeah, you know, training to the to the extent where like, um, you train a Pokemon in the video game, not the show. Whereas you work on it, you you battle with it. Because in the show, it's horribly inconsistent. <laughs> <laughs> Ash wins the Pokemon League with a Rowlet against a Decidueye. The fuck? Moving on. That's bullshit. It's complete utter bullshit. Fuck that show. Anyway. Um, oh. It's the aspect of taking a creature, mm-hmm. fighting with it, harnessing its power, training it, not like in I Train a Dog, but training it to be better. Mm-hmm. And I get that aspect from it. The reason why you get that more of a sense of a partnership with King and Gabutira is because King is the so, main character. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. King is so good at it that Gabutira almost seems sentient with the how mm-hmm. well it And is. it's really because they're the only two that we see really spending any time together. Yeah. Also true. But that's to the show's writing. But in terms of the execution of theme, I think this is still a great idea in terms of how to use the dinosaur aspect. Mm -hmm. Because dinosaurs were fantastical creatures that were primal and, you know, went on pure instinct. That There's a reason that they're still so popular to this day. Cool. There's a reason everyone loves them. They're cool, and you bring up the ne- the mention of them being fantastical creatures. It's the closest uh, we, thing. We go into mentioned. the we go into the museums and we see the and we see their skeletons on display, and it's like that thing used to walk around probably where, where my honest, house is right now. And now they're dormant, as in uh, Galatiro's case, he's in a volcano. Mm-hmm. It's like. We see them fighting in the past against Dayball when they first got I know we're... And then a lot of them were taken offline, pretty much. And then we end up getting the Ryu Soldier, who does it differently. But what do you have to say about this? Well, you know what I was about to say? You know who I think took that concept of harnessing the power of dinosaurs and did it even better? Dino Charge. Mm. Dino Charge was literally... Oh, I'm crashing on Earth. Let me trust this power to dinosaurs, and those dinosaurs will follow me through the ages. And well, with... um, Torin did the same thing. What do you got there? He crashed on Earth. Yeah, but like, <laughs> it was but the it best... was executed better in dinosaurs. It was. Yeah, <laughs> it was. But that's my point: is that they took it's literally we talk about how it's a season based off of animals and using the power of those animals. I think this show took that concept. And followed it to the letter and followed it much more literally. Now, Ryu's soldier is a whole other weird thing. Now, this is where I sort of get into this. Because with these, Ryu's soldier is really enough in the way that they interact with the mechs. Mm -hmm. More like Z-Ranger than the other two. And I say this. Really, I was going to say like Ryu. The reason I end up saying this is because with the other ones, there's always a gap in time. With them interacting with each other. Mm-hmm. But Z-Ranger was there from the beginning with Daijin Ryu. They got put to sleep. Daijin Ryu just went where the hell he goes. And then they came where back. Where the sword he, goes to. Yeah. And then he came back with um when they woke up. Mm-hmm. With Abba Ranger, it was like, they never fought together. Then the world split. With Kiryuja, there was a, you know, a significant gap in time between... Them fighting they both originally, and then coming back because there was no interaction between the two for quite some time. But then we get the Ryu Soldier, mm-hmm. where a lot of the basis of that show is this tribe always fought with them. No, I see no. this more as an evolution of Zoo Ranger than anything. Yeah, that's else. what I said. 
<laughs> there are a lot more. I think, see, I think he did, said something else. But no, he. Okay. Um, but I, I, I'm disagreeing because I never got the idea that they fought with um, Tierra Vigo before anybody in the tribe because these are long. The Dino Knights were long lost powers that haven't been seen in millions of years and blah blah blah. So you think it's closer to Alpha Ranger? A little bit. With because the world being split in those other humans. Because right. Red meets Tiramigo and goes, I don't know who the fuck you are. Let me give you a name. Let's be partners. So we're getting that more with Red and Tiramigo, obviously, mm-hmm. because they give Tiramigo an actual character. So it's kind of more like Kyoryuger and Abba Ranger put together a bit. It could be a, just a semblance of all three. Cause it is. It, I, I think so. Yeah. Because yeah. the Drudon tribe, 65 million years ago, they survived for as long as they did up to the modern age. And that's basically Zoo Ranger. Yeah. Now, apparently there are different and there are different subsections. There are subsections that don't even know about each other. There's the the land ones, the ones under the sea. Well it's which is pretty that's just, a, thing, it's just a war that happened once the over a big disagreement they decided just to not speak to each other ever again. Well that, because <laughs> war is hard to stop once you get a taste for it. Yeah. And after they beat the bad guys and the bad guys ran away to space, they were like we're still kind of bloodthirsty. The plus side, and this is where you get that just straight up explicit connection to Kira Yuzha. Red is once again his mech is the one that's always around. But in this case, unlike Gabu Tira, Tira Amigo is a character. A character. He's talking to the he's, he's interacting he, with he, them. he gets shrunk every episode and he talk like he has a whole episode with Blue because he doesn't like Blue for some reason. That was unclear. I guess, you know, some people just personalities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you understand that. Um, so you get that, you kind of get that sentient aspect of Ava Ranger. Like, he can talk. Mm-hmm. But why can't anybody else? Yeah, the other... Well, Moserex. Val. I just meant the five. Yeah. And Moserex and the Dime Kano, whatever it's called. Dime. Oh, Dime. His Dime. brother. Um, which was hysterical. Anyway, and they made, and they together make a spinal yeah, space. Yeah, Hell. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you are not wrong. Um, but no, I think you guys are absolutely right. This is kind of a cultivation of different aspects of all a three. Culmination? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm working on empty here. Uh, culmination of all the three Sentais that were dinosaur themed previously. Like, they took the aspect of no yellow from Kyoru They but they gave the ter- the Triceratops back to blue mm-hmm. to keep that the going. Ancient tribe from Zoo Ranger. Ancient tribes of Zoo Ranger. You get three starting rangers like Abba Ranger, and then two more get introduced, and they're never really together all the time either. No, they're not. Which I think is good. It's it's a breath of fresh air because it's like the team doesn't. It's essentially together. three teams. It's the first three, the second two, and Gold. Because <laughs> Gold's too busy being a man whore. He got better because last episode was actually pretty great. I haven't seen it. It was pretty good. But it's he's the kid friendly version of that one character from Inuyasha. <laughs> Will, he's bear, the more, will you bear my children? He's the more kid-friendly version of Guy. That too. Shit, man. <laughs> but, like, his intentions are pure. He's trying to find a wife, not a baby mama. Well, Same thing. In this case, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but, yeah, we also still get the aspect from Zero Ranger of it's not just dinosaurs because we have the saber-toothed tiger for green. Yeah. Again. And, and also, he's the only one so far. There's no mammoth. There's everything else is just a dinosaur. He's the odd one out because I'm fast, and we didn't want to do a green velociraptor again. <laughs> That's completely normally accurate. <laughs> That's supremely accurate. The actually. only consistency with all four is a red Tyrannosaurus Rex. Mm-hmm. There is always going to be a Triceratops of some sort. It's always going to be, and there's always going to be, I almost said there's always going to be a pterodactyl, but there's not a pterodactyl ranger in this show. We're finally getting a pterodactyl mech. Hmm. You, this is a weird Which thing. is his own mech, by the way. That I'm just noticing out of all of these, hmm. there's always a black. There is always a black. Hmm. And a blue. And with the Brachiosaurus, the Parasaurolophus. And but they, the they keep changing. Yeah, it's but, never the same thing twice. What's he in this one? Red... Black and blue. Okay. Yeah, red, black, and blue are always going to end up being there. At least so far. Those three colors, for some reason, are on every team. Because mm-hmm. there's not always a pink and there's not always a yellow. Yeah. 
and there's a, but there's always a green, hasn't there been? Nope. No, not, not Auto Ranger. Ranger. <sighs> Sorry, Auto Ranger is my knowledge of Auto Ranger. God, I'm more of a Dino Thunder person. <laughs> I can tell. But yeah, it was just like these shows are obviously taking things from each other and either but exacerbating them. Kill Ranger and Ryu Soldier, I think, are the only shows. And disagree with me if I'm wrong. That add another concept to the dinosaur. Because you have dinosaur and samba and dance and music, and you have dinosaur and knights. I don't think Z Ranger definitely didn't really have a sub. Well, they were also nice. it was it was <laughs> royalty. Too, it, it was yeah. it was more like dinosaurs and worship because they were considered they were worship deities. deities. And then you have dinosaurs are our friends. Dinosaurs are a are a uncontrollable force. Dinosaurs are knights. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are, are soldiers. Ring soldiers. They were called. <laughs> All right. If you. Will. I was gonna say no. I was gonna agree more with dinosaurs are knights because it's called, they're called dino knights. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't um, apologize for that joke. I did not apologize. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. You never. Do. But yeah. In terms of. I still think that dinosaurs is a good concept to bring to shows like this. We just need to stop seeing it. As often. Fucking Charizards. They're all Charizards. <laughs> the Red Rangers are Charizards. <laughs> See, somebody's gonna, somebody totally's going to watch this video and go, oh, Pokemon Sentai. Why did we not think of it before? Call Nintendo. We did. It's called Kill Ranger. <laughs> and collecting that too. <laughs> catch them. And collect them this too. Gotta get all the batteries. But, um... It's definitely a concept that has, for lack of a better term, evolved over the years. Yes. You can add the drum and cymbal there. Didn't. Next time. Oh, yeah. So what is the next trait we want to... Because this one, we're sort of missing one, just overall, I do want to talk about it. Do you want to go ninjas next? Cars. Turbo Ranger, Car Ranger, and... Go Laundry. Ah, I don't want to talk about Go Laundry. Let's get mad! I don't want to talk about Go Laundry in any capacity. I'm down for it. Let's do it. Let's get angry. <laughs> I'd rather talk about ninjas. ninjas yeah, we're going to talk about... Also, we need more pirates. We're going to talk mm. about cars next time. All okay. Right. The car set ties. Yeah. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Bye. Don't forget to join us in all the things, and we will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.